Day Show, the podcast is dedicated to your business success one lesson at a time with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today, you will learn how to build a business that pays the bills. And this is part one of this two-part lesson. There's so much to cover. We had to dedicate two episodes to it. This two-part lesson is dedicated to starting a business that takes you to the promised land, where your business covers your expenses, so your business becomes your main and sole source of livelihood. Doing what you love for a living, being your own boss, sounds pretty good to me. So let's get down to business. This episode of The $100 MBA Show is brought to you by Rerun. Rerun is for any small business, organization, or association wanting to automate the reoccurring subscription or membership billing. There are no monthly fees. You only pay for what you process at a low, flat rate. So visit rerunapp.com slash podcast for a 30-day free trial. That's rerunapp.com slash podcast. The average household income in the U.S., if you're married with two kids is 3,500 US dollars. A business that can provide that is a business that can pay the bills, is a business that takes you to that place where you're covering your expenses doing what you love and having the freedom to do it the way you want to do it. So for the purpose of this episode, we're gonna have a target number, the amount of money that you need to take home every month. We said the average household income for married and two kids is 3,500, but let's round that up to 4,000. So you're living above average. Sounds good? So this is our target number, $4,000 in profit every month. This is the minimum amount of money we need to make in our business, the amount of money we need to take home from our business every single month. Remember that number, $4,000, because we're going to get back to it in a few minutes. But first, we need to talk about the elephant in the room. Can you do this? Build a business that makes $4,000 a month in profit while you're in a full-time job? Or can this only be done when you dedicate your time, 100% of your time, to building your business. This is a real concern because many new entrepreneurs want to minimize the leap. They want to wait until the business is making enough revenue to replace the income of their job. Guys, this is episode 220, and every single episode up to this point, I've been completely honest with you, and I'm not going to stop now. I'm going to give you my honest answer to this topic. Yes, it can be done while you're working full-time, but it's going to take a lot longer. Building a business that's profitable is a lot of work, and work takes time and attention. This is another point that needs to be talked about. When I say attention, I want to talk about your capacity to take on new things, your brain power, so to speak. When I side hustled for 10 years, I saw very slow growth because my attention was not 100% dedicated to my business. Most of my attention and energy was spent during my day job at the university I worked at. So keep this in mind. Don't expect to do what I outlined today in a month's time if you're currently in a full-time job. It's going to take more than that even if you're not in a full-time job. And don't forget, we got life. We got things to take care of, people to call, groceries to get. You know, there's things you got to do in life that take time. So even in your, you know, free hours, there's certain things you have to do that may get in the way. So just understand that time is a huge factor in this. But it can be done, but it does take longer, a lot longer. I wouldn't even say it takes double the time. I'd say it takes three or even four times as long because of that attention I talked about, your attention being spread thin, not having enough momentum because you're stopping and starting constantly. That plays a factor. I don't want to discourage you if you are in a full-time job, but I want to give you an honest answer so you know what to expect, to be patient, and to consider the fact that 40 or more hours of your week is spent elsewhere. Okay, let's go back to the target number of $4,000. For the sake of this lesson, our sample business is an online business that sells informational products. But let's just focus on one product. And let's say that's the only product for the business at the time being. Let's say this product is a video course, a course on how to negotiate the best deal on a used car. That's my product. We offer three different packages of the course. We have the basic package of $100, we have a middle package of $200, and a third for $300. So my average sale would be $200. So with a monthly target of $4,000, what does that equal in terms of sales? That's 20 sales a month. 20 sales times $200 is $4,000. That's five sales a week. That's not that intimidating, is it? But building and selling your product is just half of it. 
Most of your efforts will be dedicated to building your audience and your trust with them. Okay, the next step is to talk strategy. The next steps you need to focus on. But before that, I gotta give some love to today's sponsor, infofree.com. I know many of you are struggling to find new customers. Trust me, I have been there. Most contact lists are outdated and don't have sales leads that are right for your business. But let me tell you about a service that makes it a whole lot easier. It's infofree.com. And by the way, they're offering a free trial to the listeners of this podcast. Infofree.com's data is so accurate that it's been featured on 60 Minutes. Do you want to reach prospects with phone calls, emails, or direct mail? Infofree.com has you covered with its database of 14 million businesses and 220 million consumers. It gives you the power to target the specific leads that are right for your business. And with this free trial, you have nothing to lose. Infofree.com even has a free mobile app that gives you the ability to access all your sales leads and research any business before you call. Use the app on your iPhone or Android to qualify your leads within seconds. To get your free trial of Infofree.com, just go to Infofree.com slash MBA. Start doubling your sales and go to Infofree.com slash MBA. All right, strategy. Your first step is to start with a clean website. If you want a platform that's easy to use but can grow as your business grows, we recommend the Rainmaker platform at newrainmaker.com. Your two main areas of focus when starting is to grow your audience while building your product. If you're focused on building your business right now 100% of the time, it's your full-time thing, you do nothing else, this is going to take around two months or so. Depending on how quickly you can produce the work, and how experienced you are with writing and your business in general. It may take you three, even four months if you're just new to all this business stuff. Times that by three if you're currently in a full-time job. Let's talk about your site for a little bit. It needs three main elements. These are the first things you need to work on. The first thing is your homepage with a great headline that describes what you do. And most importantly, you need to have an opt-in, a way to collect emails so you can grow your audience and contact your audience members later on via email. So you need an email opt-in where you exchange their email for a free gift. That could be a video, a guide, or both. The second element of your website is a blog. We're going to talk about blogging in a second, but you need to have a blog on your website when you're getting started. And the third is an about page. Did you know that statistically, the about page is the second most viewed page on any website after the homepage? So you can see the about page is pretty important. Next, write three posts a week on your blog about the pains and the issues your product solves and offer solutions right in the post. So in this case, the example that we're using today, buying a used car, maybe you can write a post on how to weed through the scams on Craigslist. That's a pain somebody goes through when they're trying to buy a used car. Also, make a strong effort to write at least one guest post a week. Check out episode MBA72 for a full lesson on that, on guest posting. Get a buffer account and make sure that you spread the word about your posts and your guest posts on social media. Spend about 30 minutes a day on your social media platforms, engaging, answering questions, and building relationships. Lastly, spend two to three hours a day, obviously depending on how much time you have, but if you're doing this full time, spend at least two to three hours a day building your product. Your product is what's gonna build your reputation, so make sure it's a killer product. If you can over deliver and give extreme value on your product, you're gonna have customers for life. And that 4,000 you're gonna be earning every month, at least 4,000 every month, it'll be reoccurring because you're gonna get new customers because they're spreading the word, they're telling other people, and they're gonna be starting to offer other products and you'll have return customers. Guys, there's more to this lesson. Part two on how to build a business that pays the bills is tomorrow. Check it out. We talk about the marketing of your product and hitting your target income number. I hope to see you guys then. And guys, we wanna hear from you. Reread every iTunes rating and review. So if you're listening to the show right now on your iPhone, just click on the cover art. You'll see the show notes for this episode. You'll also see a link that says, give us an iTunes rating and review. Click on that link and the rest is super easy. Thank you in advance for showing us some iTunes love. Guys, I want to leave you with this. I know I gave you some harsh truths today about how much time this takes. And if you're in a full-time job, this may take longer than expected. But that's up to you. How hard you hustle, how much time do you dedicate how much you sacrifice and how much you want it. If you're willing to sacrifice a few months without maybe doing something that you normally do to have fun, like maybe watching sports on TV or playing video games and dedicating that extra time to building your business to pay the bills, then you can cut away from that time. You may be able to do something at your own job where you can get a little